Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to assemble the Good Watch. The Good Watch is a replacement PCB for the um, old Casio calculator watches like the Casio um, CA53W. Uh, the board is designed by Travis Goodspeed and he was a nice and gave me a PCB and my friend uh, DF2ET from Germany uh, got me the parts and today I'm going to assemble it. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is solder the board. Then we have to um, flash it with the firmware and the last step is to mount it into one of these good old calculator watches. So, wish me luck! Okay, I'm back. The soldering process was very good. The microscope helped me a lot. I didn't lose parts, which is very good. Um, the firmware is flashed now. I've had quite a, a big of problems there, but everything was solved. I had to to solder a, a pin on my um, USB serial adapter to get the DTR pin out but after I've um, installed everything it worked quite good um, the I think I found a small bug in the firmware, but I'm not 100% um, sure why uh, this was. I will show it to you later. Um, the problem was that the compiler had an issue with a function name, but I commented out that that um, function and then everything worked fine. The next step um, I have to do is to mount this inside this. Um, there's a very good guide on the Good Watch Wiki that I will use and I hope everything works. I also have to, to solder an antenna on the PCB. I think I'm going to do this um, before I mount the PCB in the watch and then let's hope everything works. Um, I use a normal cable for the antenna. The length of the cable um, should be around 16 centimeters long. Um, the antenna connector 
is here so I'm going to apply a little bit of solder on there and also on the cable I'm using and then this part should be finished mm. oh I see I unfortunately desoldered C1 yeah this this can happen the, the parts are very very um, small but I guess this will be a, a fast fix here the good thing is that C1 is not um, the, the tiniest part this is quite a, a, a big part um, so the, the soldering shouldn't be that complicated by hand I'm going to apply some solder on the pad and then I'm I will solder this here okay this is done now we are going to disassemble the the original Casio watch um, as I said in the in the wiki there's a great um, guide how to do this um, and I will follow that guide step by step there are four screws um, on the lid back here um, they are screwed down with a the fuck um, try not to lose the screws here now um, since the four screws are done um, we're going to unlatch the battery Finally, the battery is out. Um, the inner case um, has to go out now too. Um, I have to check how this is going to be held in. There are two detents here and here. Ah, you have to push them in and then it goes out um, there is a seal over the, the, the corner over the edges here we are going to leave these in place that's for for the, the watch to be watertight um, now we have the inner case here there are latches um, around the corners, seven um, all together. We um, are going to undo these. Um, they are easily bent. Uh, maybe a small flathead screwdriver will be better here. Yeah, this goes great. This works well. Okay, I think we have um, undone all seven of them. Now the, the upper case um, goes out 
make sure you don't lose the the feather here now we can um, put out the 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 old PCB uh, we have to make sure that uh, the ribbon connectors inside for the display and the the keyboard stay inside and now here's the original PCB uh, here's the new PCB and I'm going to to just turn this around um, make sure that uh, these two pins here align and then it should fit nice and tight I have to to put the antenna through this there is unfortunately a hole in there so we are going to use this and then we are going to put this together again okay now that finally all the, the seven latches are back inside um, we can put in the, the battery again therefore we unlatch the case put in the battery and press it down again and yeah that's great it should it seems that everything works <sighs> now finally the PCB is in, inside the the watch again um, we do a, a small check now if everything works so if we press the button 7 the watch makes a self test and it seems to be all good um, button 1 shows the voltage of the battery yeah now everything um, seems to work fine we have to to <coughs> lay out the antenna here um, we make it go in this side um, about in the, the region of this hinge point here and now the last step is to to mount the 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 lid again I'm going to do is the the antenna here the antenna comes out of the case here and I'm I'm going to um, do it as in the guide and wind it um, around the the, uh, the strap here okay this looks nice now um, let's check if if everything um, works so um, I'm going to get a radio and then we can check the radio functions now we're going to test the radio functions of the good watch um, therefore we press um, the mode button and with plus and minus we can go to all the um, functions we are going to select the um, the counter function now the counter is in idle 
and I've set up the station radio um, on a specific frequency. I've turned the power, the power all the way down and now when I key up the station and press the zero button um, the watch should um, tell me what frequency we are actually using. Here it says um, 435.5 and the actual frequency is 435.6 um, that's close enough, that's very good we can we can also um, if we press the the one button it um, does the scan again but um, it um, remembers the old scan we made so here we see um, the frequency is spot on this worked very well um, the the power is about um, 0 0.5 watts and the antenna is about 20 meters away from me um, this works excellent I've um, set the radio into the 70 centimeter ISM band and the watch is in the Morse um, setting and now with different um, button presses we can trigger different Morse um, transmissions like if we press the 7 um, the good watch will transmit 73 if we press the um, the divide sign, the watch will transmit the call sign. Works perfect. Okay, um, that was the video about the building and the, the testing of the good watch. I have to say I haven't had so much fun uh, since a long time it was really easy to build um, with the right equipment of course and it made a lot of fun I want to thank um, Travis Goodspeed for the nice work he made um, and I also want to thank DF2 ET that supplied me with the parts and I hope you enjoyed the video and I thank you for watching.